Mom? <sighs> Seriously, the video wasn't funny. Here, come back, you guys, with another video. Antidote. We've got an awesome video on how to make a YouTube profile picture. Now, something you guys probably never ever knew about me was that I used to. I know it might sound weird. All the thumbnails that you have ever seen on my YouTube channel have been made on my iPad. My channel pics, my channel art, everything has always ever been made on my iPad. But um, I got Photoshop yesterday, which as you can see right here, or the other day, and that's how I made my new profile picture and channel banner. Um, a picture of them will be on screen right now. And I know a lot of guys struggle, struggle with making them, so I'm going to show you guys how to make them. This is on Photoshop, so if you don't have this, go find out how to get this or buy it, because trust me, it's really expensive. Um, but yeah, if you guys could drop a like, that would be so much appreciated. And subscribe if you are new to the channel, that would be wicked. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this. So, we're going to go ahead and open up Photoshop Touch, just like this. It might take a while to load, but that's just one of the things about Photoshop. Now, once you're in Photoshop, it doesn't matter what Photoshop you're using, I'm using Photoshop CS6. Go into File, New, and then make these uh, 500 by 500, as you can see, just like that. And have this transparent, have this 8 bit, or you could have it 32 bit, 16 bit, whatever. I'd just keep mine at 8, because why not? Then you don't really need this advanced, it doesn't matter what you have there. But if you just copy these, and that's that. And then we'll make this my two. Tutorial, I can't spell. Tutorial YouTube thumbnail. There we go. Just like that. And then I'll click OK. And now you've got this transparent background just like that. You need it to be transparent so you've got these um, squares like this. And then go onto your web browser. Mine is what I'm using right now, Safari. And then I want you to go into Google. Yes, Google, Google, Google. Now you guys can find different backgrounds for your thumbnail. So you can have maybe a, let's just try a sunburst. And just like this. Now these are pretty much quite cool thumbnails. You can do overlays of these and stuff. You guys can pick a thumbnail just like that from there for your background. You can have a grunge background which you can blend with one of the sunbursts and have that. This is more of a Call of Duty background thing. You can edit, make pretty good, just like that. That's a um, one that I'd probably use right there. And then you could just go on to maybe like a blurish background or maybe what I just type in sometimes is background and then when you type backgrounds up, you get these. Now I use this one for my background of my thingy. I just love this one. You have like different colours, nice ones, but you don't want one like, let's say that, because like everyone knows that that's like a Google thing or something like that. You know, I don't know if you've made it or not. It looks quite nice if you know what I mean, like things like this and everything. But today I think I'm going to actually go, go with the sunburst background, just like so, as I think a lot of people use them and they look really, really nice in backgrounds because I've used them in a couple of my backgrounds before. So let's scroll down and find one that we like. Hmm. I like this purple one right here, as you can see. So then I can just drag that to my desktop, just like that. You guys don't have to drag it, you can just right click, save, everything like that. But I don't want to do that at the moment. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just drag this in just like that. We'll press shift on the keyboard, and just like so. And then all we have to do is press the tick up here. Then press command A and it will select this. Go on to layer, align layer to selection and then go on to vertical centers and then go layer again and go align layer selection. And then you're gonna wanna click on horizontal centers just like that and this will center the thing up and then you can just press command D to unselect. Now you've got this, it's perfect in the middle, everything, everything's glandy, happy, everything like that. Then. If you right click on the layer over here and click onto blending options, you've then got all these wicked blending options. You could have like maybe like a stroke, just like that, but I don't really want one at the moment. You could have a drop shadow. Now drop shadows look pretty, pretty nice. You can have them like that, you can have whatever, and it sort of like changes the background how you want it, make it a bit better than how it was before, everything like that. You can add whatever, but today I don't really want to add none because this is sort of, it looks like it's been edited, even though it hasn't, I just think it looks really good like that. Now here comes the next part, so 
what you can have is you can have any shape or size that you want. So let's say that I want the maybe the hmm maybe the custom shape. No, let's go with the uh, ellipse tool, normal round circle, and then what you guys want to do is just press and make a big circle. I think that's fine enough to be honest, and then it'll fill in with that color. You can obviously change this. So if I went up to here, I can maybe change it to a let's go with a bright pink, just like that. I think that looks pretty, pretty nice. And then put a white overlay just like that, so then you've got that. You can also change the um, thing of this. You can have it like that, change the pixels, everything like that. I've got a line edges on. And then that is pretty much that. And now you can just click OK. And then you've got this other one that obviously no one ever wants because that was the biggest mistake ever. Now, let's just click on text randomly because I know I can't be bothered. And then you're going to want to do the same thing that you did earlier. So Command A press layer go on to align layer to selection vertical centers and then align layer selection horizontal centers now that'll put it right in the middle perfect command d boom now you've got this lovely looking shape like that now we can go edit this thing up how we ever want it so i could have another drop shadow i could do whatever now the thing is i think a drop shadow on this looks very nice but if you have it on the circle it stands out low so if i have that Look how much that stands out. Then I can just go again. Blending options. I could maybe have. I've already got a stroke to it, so there's no point in actually having a stroke. I could have a pattern overlay, a gradient overlay, which I can add to this. To say that I wanted the opacity really, really low, I could have it like that. I can change everything about it. I can make it rainbow inside, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to leave it all up to you for that stuff because I just think that this looks pretty, pretty nice. Now we've got that. We're going to click on the text icon and then press here and then say that my name is J I just want to have a simple J I yeah and just like that I've got the font true liars on which is the one that I've actually got for my profile picture right now at the moment but you guys can use a completely different font so let's say that someone wants to use the font American purpose I like this font trust so if I click on that and then what I'm gonna have to do is just scroll to the top just like that and then i find it and when i find my font that i actually want to use you can use different ones on here but if you guys don't know how i use my font then i go into a website called um da font and then on there i can find different fonts and everything like that then i'll just pretty much click there I, i'm going to go over here because you can change the color and everything there but i'm going to right click on this go into blending options again and go on to gradient overlay i can then have it like that but i love this rainbow effect don't even know why i just do i could have a stroke maybe so i think the stroke looks better at three then i can have a drop shadow however i wanted it so say that i, I can have noise to it like that but nah i'm gonna add 100% drop shadow I'm just gonna have it like that that looks pretty good for me guys and then I've gone like that then I'm gonna click this thing over here I'm gonna click on shift and I'm just going to extend this all the way out unless I don't flop again as it starts to flop again sick so then pretty much you guys can make it as thingy as you want even though I'm pressing shift right now my thing's actually glitching out so um, there we go just like that then I can move it along and I can do whatever I want with it. Maybe I could tilt it, give it a bit of a tilt. Yep, that looks good. And then Command D, just like that. Or I can just press the tick, which I want to do there. Then if I press that, then that pretty much does that. So there we go. How much of a sick thing is that? That is the example for today, guys. Hopefully you guys can go and make whatever ones you want. I think that looks pretty, pretty awesome. Send me what ones you have made. Hopefully this helps you out a lot. If you guys want some more tutorials on maybe how I make my thumbnails, everything like that, and how I made my thumbnails on iOS for six pounds, not every single thumbnail, but like for whatever thumbnails I want, and definitely do be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you later. Peace.